What's going on guys? Welcome to a brand new video. Hope you guys are doing great. Well, so your day is going good, your weekend, whatever, whenever the time you're watching this video. So this video is going to be an update to a tutorial that I made last year. Uh, at the end of 2023, it's like October, November, I made it, something like that. Uh, it was a tutorial video I made on how to install mods for Smash Ultimate on Rio Jung Simulator on your computer. Uh, PC, whatever you're on. Um, so what I'm going to be doing here is I'm going to be making an update tutorial for that. People have requested me to do that for some reason. It wasn't working for them. Uh, issues. So I'm like, okay, people are asking for it. So I mean, I might as well remake it. And honestly, the method I'm going to show you today is so much more simple that you don't even need Ryu Jinx. Forget about Ryu Jinx. You're going to want to use Yuzu. I know Yuzu officially is gone because the devs got swatted down by Nintendo. Uh, Nintendo, you know, took them down, whatever. Took them to court. All that stuff happened. Um, but there's other builds of Yuzu out there that allow for this. So, uh, what I'll do is I'll leave a link in the description below to what you can download. And, uh, it's going to make process of doing this so much easier and better for you. So don't even worry about Ryu Jinx. You're going to use Yuzu. So, uh, let's get right into it and I'll show you how this all works. So I'm going to leave a link in the description below here, uh, to this here. So it's going to be a GitHub uh, link here. It's just going to take you to this page here. Use USB, you install it exe, click on it to download it. I'm not going to do that because I already have it. So just click on that. Um, oh, I, yeah, I don't want to download it, obviously, because I already have it, as you can see. So, yeah, just download that. And that's literally all you need to download. That's literally it. Just that. So once you do that, uh, you can close out of your web browser, whatever you're on. So I'm going to go to my downloads folder here. Um, so when you open this for the first time, uh, you'll see here it's a bit different for me. Uh, just because uh, I already have it installed, but I'll show you exactly what it's going to do. So when you open up the when you open up the user SB installer exe file for the first time, you're not going to see all these options. What you're going to see here is you're going to see these two things, and instead of saying modify, it's going to say install uh, for you. So you're going to want to make sure that you have Yuzu this Yuzu thing checked, and make sure you have the Yuzu SB optimizer also checked. And once you do that, you know it's going to of course say install for you guys. So it says modify for me because I already have it installed, obviously, like I said. Uh, so just click install, boom, that's it. And once you do that, you're going to see these two icons on your desktop up here. Huh? So you can close out your downloads folder or, or whatever you downloaded the uh, Yuzu SSB installer to. So before you open up Yuzu itself, actually, first things first, you want to open up the Yuzu SSB U optimizer first. That's the first thing you want to do. So once you go in here, you're going to see all this here. So what you're going to do is you're going to double tick this, this, and all of this. So, of course, for mods, this one here is the most important one. Um, but there's other settings here that you can do. Um, so what this first one here is SSBU settings. It says optimize Yuzu graphics and CPU settings for SSBU. I recommend using this because it's just going to make the performance a whole lot better and make the game more smooth. So there's no reason to really not have that checked. So make sure that's checked. It's just going to be a lot easier for you. So you might as well do that because uh, it's just overall better. going to make the experience better. Uh, next one here, of course, this is a modding tutorial. So this is the most important part here. Uh, so SSBU mods, add useful mods for training and online play. Because uh, this user build does actually allow online. Uh, I guess I'll demonstrate that. Of course, this is more of a modding tutorial. But online play does come with this. So I guess I can demonstrate it. Might as well. Because I'm sure some people would want to know that too. Um, so SSBU mods. Hey, make sure you have this ticked. Uh, it's going to install all the necessary modding stuff that you need. Uh, so there's that. And uh, the save data. It just says overwrite SSBU save with 100% save for competitive play. If you already don't have a 100% save file, then you can just go ahead and have this ticked. Uh, that way it'll just give you a complete save file, save all the characters unlocked and everything. And um, like I mentioned in my Ryu Jinx uh, tutorial I made last year, I will not be providing you or telling you how you can get the uh, ROM for Smash Ultimate or how you can get the update data for it or the DLC content, uh, DLC contents, fighter passes and all that stuff. That's up to you to figure out. That's all piracy, so I will not be touching any of that or telling you how to do that. It's up to you guys to obtain on your own. Um, so once you do that, just click Optimize Selected boom that's it and it does this all for you so you can close out of that um honestly it just to make everything so much better there's really no reason even if you don't really want to worry about online play or or whatever or whatever other settings in my opinion just make sure all three of these are ticked it's gonna make everything a whole lot better for you um of course if you already have a save file then you don't have to worry about that but these two here you're gonna want ticked of course the mod ones is the most important one because that's what you guys are watching this video for for mods Make sure this is ticked, and this one is just to optimize your user settings just because it makes everything so much better. So, the two main ones, just have these ticked, and that's it. So, 
Very simple. It takes two seconds to do that. And then once you have that done, you can open up Yuzu. Let's open that here. Uh, wait for it to open up here. Took a bit longer than usual. Okay, whatever. That's fine. Um, but yeah, here's all my games here. So, literally, you're ready to start modding. You're ready to start modding. So all you gotta do is, uh, in order to place your mods in, simple as you can do, just go up to file. Uh, whoops. Uh, just go up to file here. Go to open Yuzu folder, and go into SDMC, and you're gonna see all this stuff here. Uh, you're gonna go to switch. Uh, sorry, not switch. No, no, not that folder. Uh, you're gonna go to ultimate, and you're gonna go to mods, and this is where you're gonna see all your mods at. So this is where you place them in. Uh, so yeah, this installer. Uh, makes everything so much easier for you. It just installs the, all the necessary modding equipment that you need. Um, so you don't actually have to go through of the process of downloading everything yourself and then putting it into Yuzu or Reujinx. This is just so much easier. So there's really no reason for you to have to use Reujinx anymore. It just makes it so much easier. Um, so yeah, you can do that. And as you can see, I have all my mods in here. Um, now where to download mods, if you're not familiar with that, uh, of course you can go to Game Banana. And this is where you find all the Smash Ultimate mods at. Um, I'll just show you how the downloading process works. I'll demonstrate that real quick just to kind of give you guys uh, a way of doing it. Just so you guys have something to go off of in case you're new to this. Um, so as you can see, on Game Manas, there's different categories. Skins, UI menu mods, uh, stage mods, and whatever. Um, so let's go to skins and I'll just download a random mod here to demonstrate like I did in the Reusing tutorial. Uh, let's see what we got here. Uh, last time I did zero suit in my reaging tutorial. Let's do someone different. Uh, let's do Fox. Let's try Fox here. Uh, what do we got here to download? Uh, let's see. We got Slippy. Now yeah, it's too Slippy. I'll show you that it works. So let's go ahead and click download. It's gonna download the mod. Open it up here. Uh, of course, Win WinRAR is the recommended thing for opening zip files. If you don't have WinRAR downloaded, you should. Uh, it makes things so much easier. It's not necessary for this, but it just makes everything so much easier and smooth. So, once you open up the RAR file, of course, whoops. Uh, so, you open that up, and you're going to see, um, whatever for whatever your mod is, you're going to see the main the main folder here. So, once you have this here, go back to your Yuzu folder. Uh, so, again, just to demonstrate, let me close out of it. So, again, you go to File on Yuzu, open Yuzu folder, and then you go down to SDMC, and then go down to Ultimates. Then click mods. And this is where all your mods go. So I'll go back here. Uh, you once you got all your mods, of course, you can close out a game banana on your browser. You can get rid of that. And uh, go back to WinRAR or whatever, or whatever zip unzipping extract uh, extraction program you use. And you just take the folder that's right here, and boom, drag it in, and you're done. That's it. So I will boot up the game now to show you that the mod works, and I will also show you how uh, the online functionality works, because just as a little bonus in case you guys want to do that. Um, so yeah, let's uh, go ahead and show that off. So you can see I got the game started up here. So let's get in game, and I will show you that the skin mod worked, and see how it looks. All right, let's just go to games. I'll go to do it in training mode. Uh, pick training stage, show you that it worked. I think my volume is a bit too low. All right. Okay, so we put it over um, Fox. So let's find Fox here. So what skin that was. And as you can see, he appears. The slippy skin. So let's go in game here. And as you can see, that it works flawlessly. Get a load here. And there we go. But yeah, yeah, that's the uh, mod, so it all works. So this works with skin mods, uh, music mods, sound mods, menu mods, UI stuff, whatever you want, name it, uh, stages, all that kind of stuff. So yeah, there you go. Much more simpler process than using a Ryujinx, so this is what you should really stick with for now on, because it makes everything so much easier. And now I will show off the built-in online play feature. So what you want to do for that is you're going to go up to multiplayer, and you're going to browse public game lobby. So, as you can see, there's a bunch of servers here that you can join. Um, just as an example, uh, I'm going to join the one that I was in earlier because it works well for me. So, we're going to join this one here. So, you can just join a room. And once you're in here, you can see that you're connected. Now, to actually access these rooms in-game, 
what you have to do is I'm going to move these off of my screen. Uh, so we're going to go back here, put training, and you're not going to click on online for ultimate. That's not how you're going to access these. So you're going to go back, um, back again, back to the main menu. So because you click online here, it just does this, and I look back to the internet. So, uh, and I think my thing actually crashed. It's frozen. Uh, no, there we go. I had to click, up, click out of it there. Uh, I don't know what's going on. If I can get out of this. Okay, so my game actually crashed, so I guess I shouldn't have showed that off. But yeah, just so you know, that's not where you go for online for this. So you're going to do is, you're going to click Z. Or, of course, you can just move over on the right stick to access this menu. And you're going to go over to local wireless. And what you're going to see here is, it's looking for a room. Uh, I should have... Oh, because I don't have the servers pulled up anymore. Okay, yeah. So, actually, what you should do is you should enter the game first and then pull up the game lobby. So, go browse public game lobbies. And then I'm going to go to the one that I was on. I'll find it again here. It was right here somewhere. Uh, here we go. Let's click on this. And it's going to look for a room. And as you can see, there's the person's room. Don't know if they'll allow me in or not, but we could try. Um, they might kick me. They're probably in the middle of a game, so they might kick me after. Uh, but as you can see, you're inside, and you can play with uh, people in here. This is how you do online through this. So, of course, this wasn't the main purpose of the tutorial. It's a little bonus thing I figured I'd show you guys. Um, so, yeah. Uh, they're mid-smash right now, so who knows if they'll even allow me to play or not. But it uh, doesn't matter. This is just for uh, tutorial purposes. So, yeah. And now you can play online with your mods. And, yeah, through Yuzu. So, don't even bother with Yuzu anymore because it's a lot more complicated. And it's so much easier and simpler on here. Another thing you can do, too, is if you don't want to, like, create, uh, like, your, if you're, sorry, if you don't want to join, like, a public lobby, what you can actually do is if you go up to multiplayer and you click create room, you can actually create your own room. The only thing is there's an extra step with this. You have to port forward on your rotor. I haven't even done that because I don't know anything about that. But if you're someone that knows how to like do a port forward on your rotor, uh, you can do that. And uh, you can create your own private lobby with somebody. So you can either do it with the create room feature. Or if you go up to uh, multiplayer and then direct connect room. Uh, you can also uh, connect uh, through here. Um, so yeah, it just shows like a random server address here. And you just want to erase that and then put in whatever yours is. Um, or I think that's the server address for Yuzu. Something like that. Um, but uh, yeah. That's really it. So that's how you uh, install mods uh, using Yuzu, of course, which is much simpler than Ryujinx. And uh, you can also, you know, play online too in a much easy way. Uh, if you have HDR, you can also do this with HDR on Yuzu as well, play it online. Uh, I have HDR on here. I just don't have it installed at the moment because it was uh, just for the sake of this tutorial. I just want to show you base ultimate. Um, but yeah, that's it for this. Very simple method. So much easier than going through the Ryujinx method that I showed you guys last time. Uh, so that's all for this video. Thank you for watching and uh, happy modding.